Hello friends, welcome to Grey Pot. Today we're gonna make the soft, chewy, homemade caramel toffees. Caramel toffee is one of those toffees which you can easily make at home. And you probably have all the ingredients needed to make them in your kitchen right now. So let's jump into the recipe and make this no fuss caramel toffees. All the ingredient list is given in the description box. Please check it out. And before we move on, click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to Graypot. And click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Let's start by caramelizing the sugar. Add half a cup of sugar into a pan and let it sit for some time. And then you can see the sugar has started melting and it will turn into golden color. And once it reaches this stage, give it a mix and add around 2 tablespoons of water and mix it. And be careful when you are adding water because the caramel is really hot and it may splash up. Now add half a cup of thick cream. Here I've used whipping cream but if you have fresh cream you can use that it works really fine. And when you add the cream you can see the caramel has got lumped up but don't worry when the cream gets heated up the caramel will also get melted. And mix it for some time. Once the caramel is melted, add half a cup of sugar, add honey, mix it. Here I am adding 2 tablespoons of glucose syrup or also called as corn syrup. And this ingredient is completely optional. If you are getting it, you can add this into this recipe or you can skip it. But if you add corn syrup or glucose syrup into the toffee mixture, you will get the proper toffee texture. This glucose syrup is available in most of the supermarkets or you will get it in baking item supply shops. You have to continuously mix it until the caramel reaches this consistency. Then you can add a pinch of salt. Caramel and salt is a very good combination. To check whether it is ready, Put 2-3 drops of caramel into some water and if you can easily take those drops out from the water, that means the caramel mixture is ready. Now turn off the flame, add 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter and 1 tablespoon of vanilla essence and mix it until the butter gets melted. After you add these two ingredients, your entire kitchen will smell toffee. Oh, it's so amazing. Now our mixture reached the perfect consistency. Now take a tray lined with aluminium foil or butter paper and pour the mixture in it. And on one hand the main thing which I forgot to do is greasing the foil. So please don't do that mistake. Grease the foil really well. Now give a tap 2-3 times to get rid of all the air bubbles and let it rest on the countertop for 2 hours. And after 2 hours Take a parchment paper and flip this tray on top of it. And carefully remove the aluminium foil from the toffee. Now you can cut these toffees into any desired shape and sizes. And this is the best thing when you make your own toffee, you can decide the size of your toffee. You can wrap these toffees in butter paper, plastic wraps or with those colorful toffee wrappers which are easily available in supermarkets. Store these wrapped toffees in an airtight container and it will last long. Be 
you can also sprinkle some salt on top of this toffee. As I said earlier, caramel toffees with salt goes really well. So here it is, our soft and chewy homemade caramel toffee is ready. So definitely try this recipe at home and leave me a comment if you like it. And we love to see your creations. So if you make this recipe, share a picture on our Facebook page. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Google+. You can watch more other interesting recipes from our channel Greypot. And click the logo to subscribe to Greypot and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notifications. Thank you.